What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video, and in this video, in this podcast video, I will be talking about how and why properties are very important for the all mechanism of Eurovision. It might sound a bit strange, but I will give you some complete thoughts about this very complex topic. Even it seems very simple. Nothing is really that simple as it seems. Even things are basically much more simpler than we in conspiracy theories tend to do. Let's talk. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, ring the notification bell. Give me a super like or buy me a coffee or become a member. This is a new feature on my channel with much more exclusive content. And also this video will be having two parts. There will be a part for you regular viewer, which is amazing, which will be reduced. And for the members, there will be completely uncut version or maybe I will cut, you know, when I will sneezing or something. But uncut version of this whole podcast so two version of the same it's not the same actually some like members will just get exclusive content that's what members deserve and let me also use this to thanks for the first member first ever member of my exclusive club trick xp the czech guy who also support my channel a lot supporting me so this is a shout out for you you deserve it also i promised it in the membership that i will do it but definitely this one is special exclusive because you are the first ever member and i, I will probably make some frame about it or something whatever don't take me literally i maybe won't do it yeah that's it shout out for you thank you very much and you can also be part of it so think about joining it and just doesn't matter what my other videos it's up to you. I don't want to push you there. Just want to talk about the fact that there is this opportunity. But let's talk about the topic of today of this podcast, which is pre-parties. I, when I was uh, when I was a member of Czech team as a head of delegation, I loved pre-parties for two, maybe three reasons. First one was that your artist gets to this Eurovision community. For the first time, this artist will receive questions. For the first time, this artist receives like a personal attention. And also for the very first time, this artist will meet another artist with the completely same things in mind from different countries. So it's starting to becoming the artist's community, which is very unique in any project. Like whoever of you done television, you know that in television industry, when you're doing projects like Strictly Come Dancing, Dancing with the Stars or voice or something there is becoming those little communities and those people are supporting each other but those are local productions but internationally this is even crazier because those people are sharing so many thoughts they have from their own countries their managers their head of delegations they are gossiping basically about everything and everyone because they have the common goal they just don't want to succeed at Eurovision but they also want to survive this experience for them it's new how to do it it's like what methods they are using what methods they are using there so for artists this layer is super important from my perspective was also very important the fact that I as a head of delegation for example when I was present could meet my colleagues or other people from the community maybe also meet you guys and sometimes we look arrogant you know because you want to have people a little bit back but the other thing is that you can measure some stuff first of all it's great to know some of you personally and you can find out that also me as a head of delegation or any other head of delegation were absolutely okay people who you can chat have a beer with but anyway this is the one thing the other thing is that you can see the artist in the different environment out of the comfort comfort zone because even though it's not a competition in the pre-party it is kind of you they can they're like somebody is somebody is in front of them performing and after them and they they are thinking like they're human you know and they feel if somebody for example sings much better then oh i need to improve this or ah they didn't like me that the experience over here is completely something different so you can see those reactions you can communicate you can make your artist to be also part of your team kind of because you know sometimes it's happening that the artist comes whether wins national selection or or its internal selection they came with their come with their own team and sometimes those 
two worlds doesn't really work perfectly together because people from outside of television don't trust television people etc etc and those actions those pre-parties are amazing time where you can spend time together be part of the experience together and both of the sides can find much more easier way how to communicate together which eventually can lead to better results and also for the artists it's perfect because artists have the contact with not just Eurovision journalists Eurovision youtubers or vloggers which is perfect in my opinion because it I will get to this point later but uh, it's also perfect that they they get into contact with the community with the people who care about them who knows their song who can sing those songs with them because for most of them or for lots of them this is a completely new experience that they have this song which in their own country no one even know then they come to madrid for example and then they just start singing and everybody is singing with them and this is brilliant this is i think what is amazing on eurovision community and in my opinion also on pre-parties especially where the atmosphere is always very friendly you know it's completely different than on the internet where the community can be very very toxic like very toxic or very harsh very subjective like extremely which this is part of the internet like i don't want to criticize this anymore because i think it doesn't make sense but in pre-parties there is this eurovision vibe like everybody is friends of everybody and this is so important for eurovision because this is one of the projects which gives this very special connection between everyone and it generates the opportunities and opportunities which should be taken you know you can now do so many content and this is just the easiest way how to do it because you can cooperate with somebody else you can hire somebody for on the place you can do it yourself you can do it on your phone you can create a strategy out of it it's it's just the whole another thing why pre-parties are important because it can stimulate the mind of the people who are working television in the teams of the artists of the artists of the artists or artists or the group of artists then they can do things together or they can meet at one first pre-party and think about what to create on the next one you know that the, the 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 options are infinite which this project eurovision really gathers together and one other layer is money like of course public broadcasters they it in different countries this uh, their founding it's different at some countries for example they can have advertisements for example in czechia they cannot have advertisements in tv and so on and so on but what this project generates it's workplaces like come on like so many people are working at eurovision for eurovision for broadcasters for artists for pre-parties for vlogs for all of those people including me it generates money of course the income it's lower and again i'm telling you you can become a member which can generate me more money and i can generate more content but it generates money to everybody to promoters the guys who are shooting the videos from the pre-parties somebody said must somebody must edit it somebody must put it on the internet and so on and so on somebody's doing production somebody's uh, taking care of accreditation somebody is taking care of ticketing and, like imagine how many people are getting paid just because of eurovision how big complexity is it you know how many drinks the venue will sell this is all connected and if you imagine it in this whole complexity the pre-parties are really important and maybe you will say hey, but it uh, won't change the if the artist is going through the semi-final or not and you were right it won't but what it's very important for the artist is the fact that they are first of all visible that they are questioned that they are promoting themselves it doesn't matter if they're promoting it from your for eurovision community or somebody else they are promoting themselves and what is amazing on eurovision community is that it's very often if you're not complete crazy or if you at, at least somehow interesting they will invite you somewhere they will never forget about you and that generates the money for the artist just let's be realistic it's a business like music industry it's industry because it's a business and that flow it's important so for the artist to be seen it's great now this part will go to paywall for sure but let's talk about germany for example it's like what the hell this country is doing or the management of the artist is doing this is like eurovision has this amazing thing that it somehow works all year long and this is just also because of the community around and for 
all of this, the pre parties are important, not just as a business, but or even if just a business, the business generates attention and attention is something everybody needs, everybody wants. And this is the reason why we are watching it, listening it, reading every news, want to have opinions, want to listen to me, I want to listen to you or other bloggers and just want to get something new. Did this artist improve? You know, you can see, and this is another very amazing thing, you can see how the pre-parties evolved. I started Eurovision doing in 2016 and I can clearly see the evolution of pre-parties, how much professional they are done, how much thinking of detail there is, how much professional it's shot, how much all the promoters are taking care of the sound and it's not easy in the clubs. How, you know, for example, this Madrid pre-party, I remember that I was on the first one and now I can compare the output from this one and it's like crazy. It's like it's it's normal television production. Like if you compare it to USCZ, which is what, which was on TV and you can see the output from this, this is much better, you know, which actually tells a lot, but it also tells like how people are investing in quality, how how those pre-parties are becoming more and more professional and how it's important maybe because I would say that in the, in the near future there will be a big competition for those pre-parties because not all the artists would be able to go to every single one of them. This year will be like seven pre-parties. It's very important for those pre-parties to be as better as possible because the other competition will maybe be better and then the artist will be choosing like on which pre-party I will go. Of course, they will go on the best one of them. So this all pushes everybody in this industry. You can see also me, you know, I'm sometimes shooting on two cameras because I want just my output to look better. And this is also comes from the pre-parties. I just want to bring you something else, something better, nicer, pushing all the industry around Eurovision to do better outputs, better outcomes and just giving you actually better content, which you then will be watching which will after all pay off and maybe also this will inspire you to start this and this will also pay off for you and this chain is so important and pre-parties are a huge part of it because without them imagine the space between promoting the last song or revealing of the last song from Eurovision then the month and a half gap without almost nothing and then Eurovision and then what? This is perfection. We can talk about the odds changing. We can talk about, you know, the, like the artist will do something stupid and you will say like, oh my God, I like this artist, but why this artist is such an idiot? Or actually, I thought this artist is an idiot, but he's brilliant. Like he was talking, you know, this is an opportunity. Opportunities are created and Eurovision from start of November till the... I don't know, till the start of the June or the end of the June, it's a big thing. It's a big thing and we need to appreciate how huge it is and we need to appreciate every single person who's investing the energy into the business of creating pre-parties. After all, it's not easy and definitely I see that there is so much more potential than this. So when I read that the pre-parties are not really important, it's not true. Pre-parties are brilliantly important for the all mechanism, the inside, the integrity of the whole Eurovision and it will just become bigger. And I, I believe that at some point some TVs will normally broadcast the pre-party as a little Eurovision, you know, like a promo show because it just makes sense. It just makes sense to invest money into this, especially when you really take it takes it, take it seriously. Yeah. And probably I would find many other points. I, I would say like, also for you fans, it's it's brilliant thing because a lot of you travel. This is another money for another companies. You invest a lot of money for being on this tour with the artists, but also to find another people in the community, another friends, maybe another lovers. It creates new stories, each of them. And this is like, what? Not so many projects can tell this, you know, I met my future husband and or wife uh, at Eurovision pre-party. Eurovision, it's united 
uniting us by music whether i criticize where it goes or not this is so important for it to keep it and this is why it's important to make eurovision as more as much quality event as possible also by music because this will attract even more people more connections maybe more business opportunities and more opportunities in general for it's like in football football becomes bigger because it becomes even more professional there is much more money in it it's more important kind of and it's just a football and this is this counts also for eurovision it can become something even more than a still kind of at some minds bizarre contest it can become the highlight of the music industry itself and this is my goal and this is the reason why pre-parties should be highlighted even more even more because this is no other show has no, no other show have such thing no other only eurovision and only eurovision has fans like you and also i must say that I appreciate this more and more and I can see that if I work harder on it, it pays off also. And that's why I'm reminding you to become a member or give me a super like, buy me a coffee because I will create much more content than this because I feel motivated. I just feel very motivated and I'm curious. I'm curious about your opinion. So write me in the comments below what else you like on pre-parties, what maybe I forgot or Tell me your personal story. I'm, I'm very interested. Like, did you meet your boyfriend or girlfriend in a pre-party? This is fascinating. Like, write me in the comments below everything you think it's related to this topic. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, buy me a coffee or give me a super like, or become a member and receive exclusive content very often. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.